The Gospel according to St. Matthew The Book of the Generation of Jesus Christ, the Son of David, the Son of Abraham The Book of the Generation of Jesus Christ, the Son of David See, we all know that in, you know, ancient times and now with the modern interest in genealogy that their main concern was their pedigree, you know, their family history the bloodline and this is the book of the generation, the genes the Y chromosome of Jesus Christ, the son of David so this book, the first chapter is his pedigree it's his pedigree and Abraham begat Isaac and blah 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 and it goes all the way down through the kings so Jesus was of the royal bloodline this is what Matthew chapter 1 says Pontius Pilate wrote on the cross Jesus the Nazarene king of the Jews not Jesus of Nazareth, there was no such place as Nazareth Nazareth was built by the Romans later it was Jesus the Nazarene or the Nazarite King of the Jews this is his bloodline this is his pedigree this is his genes, his genealogy and then We get to verse 16 and it says and Jacob begat Joseph the husband of Mary of whom was born Jesus who is called Christ well Christ is just Messiah you know the anointed king so he's just saying he's the king you know the, of the bloodline and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary. So it's all from the son of David, all the begats, begats, begats. And then, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So this you know, is a forgery, isn't it? It's a fraudulent insertion because it completely contradicts the first 15 verses. But without those first 15 verses, there is no document to forge no fraudulent insertion so this is where we you know they inserted the doctrine of the virgin birth and so as I said we've got the book the bloodline of Jesus and then we've got this forgery this fraudulent insertion of the virgin birth now why when we look at the early Gospels there's no mention of the resurrection there's no mention of the resurrection you know there's the bloodline of Jesus and his life and the teachings of the teacher of righteousness from the Nazarene Essene group that he was part of his school you know, like his school, his education, his college his monastery at Qumran so where did these doctrines come from the virgin birth and the resurrection that have been inserted into the into the gospel to create what we know as the gospel you know the good news that Jesus died for your sins you know the sacrificial lamb the blood of the lamb and this is it this is the gospel truth the understanding of the gospel because those doctrines of resurrection and virgin birth are from the cult of Mithras which is a mystery cult based on the use of psychedelic plants mushrooms etc so the best re reference for this is probably Timothy Leary The Psychedelic Experience in the Tibetan Book of the Dead 
but it's the experience of reincarnation, of re death and rebirth, experienced under, psych under the psychedelics in an experience of dis disintegration and then rebirth, a return, you know, reintegration. So that mystery cult psychedelic experience has been grafted on the story of Jesus, King of the Jews. But wh what is the intent? What is the intent of this invention? You know, why was it? If it, in a sense, we've got a, a legal document in Matthew 1 of Jesus' bloodline, and then we've got this forgery. So we must question why. What was the intent in the insertion of this virgin birth? You know, what is the process, and why? So what is the intent of the virgin birth? You know, what is the intent of the gospel? What is the intent? And I think this should be where we will start. What is the intent of putting an image of a man nailed to a cross into a child's mind? What is the intent of putting that violent, horrific image into a child's mind? Well, it's obviously to frighten the child is to frighten, is to put the fear of God into the child or into the slave or, you know, the dull, ignorant savage. The reason why this man is nailed to this cross is because he has died in your place. You either accept, you know, my authority, our authority as the priesthood by believing in this myth, by being pushed through this myth. Now you deserve to die, so essentially it's bullying, a process of bullying. You know, you are going to die, you are going to die in your sins. And you're going to be judged on those sins, and any little sin, you go to hell, unless you get the, you know, redemption, which can only, you can only be saved with Jesus. This is the bullying con the nub of the gospel teaching that Jesus is the only way that you are going to die and that you must believe in Jesus so you see it's essentially bullying forcing that belief that personality cult that myth on the slave or the dominated the victim the dominated human being the prey these fishers of men are predators of men the gospel the intent of the gospel is to enslave the intent of the gospel is to brutalize us brutalize us with constant fear constant every week reliving the crucifixion you know, they've taken over all our ancient, you know, if pagan ceremonies for the solstice by Easter and Easter. Completely dominated and separated us from each other through this evil tyranny of the gospel. The good news is bad news for humanity. So what's the intent of the virgin birth? Well, the intent of the virgin birth is to make Jesus into God so that it's no longer a man being crucified. It's a God. It's the God being crucified. He's not like us. His mother was a virgin and, you know, miraculously, he is a virgin too. But in Numbers, it says, you know, we shall not have a king over us that is not like unto us, that is not our brother. Our king has got to be a man, not a virgin son of a virgin. What sort of man is that? 
So what's, so the intent of the virgin birth is to disguise the fact that here we have a very primitive human sacrifice religion. A scapegoat is a human sacrifice. It's a basic system, a tyranny of mind over the people. The virgin birth is meant to disguise that human sacrifice. So what's the intent of the resurrection? Which we know never happened because it wasn't recorded in the early Gospels. Well, obviously the intent of the resurrection is so that the pastor can jerk you off with a ha happy ending. So you put you through the horror of dying with all your sins and then, oh, liberation and now give me your money. And now we'll have a collection for the Lord's work so that I don't have to work myself. So the intent of the pastor is to money shark with tithes and other tyrannies on the poor and vulnerable in our society. This is their intent. This is their intent. Look, you know, like now they want to restore Christianity to the centre of our society. Who is the head of the Church of England? The Queen. Is the Queen's Jubilee. Jubilee means to give everything back. Why did she give all the land back? While we're poor and homeless and overcrowded, why did she give all the money back so, and clear our debts? What sort of Jubilee is this? Oh, it's a diamond Jubilee. Why did she give the Koh Noor back? Well, we know she's a German. We know she's, you know, got fascists in the family. And she's the head of the Christian church. And she's insisting on this Christian message. You know, at every Christmas message. This gospel, this tyranny. Now, the, what is the intent of the pastor telling the children their mothers are sinners? Telling them their fathers are sinners. Well, this is to groom the child, isn't it? To groom the child so the child looks up to the priest and thinks, oh, my mother and father are both sinners. This is so, it's a deliberate intent to break up our families and to isolate us and to be put under their control. So we leave our mothers and fathers. But like, look at the Queen, she says she's a Christian. Jesus said, go and sell all that you have and give the money to the poor and follow me. Can't, can't you read that? Look at this, onward Christian soldiers. But, sorry, it says, thou shalt not kill. You know, can't they read or don't they read? Do they just believe? Do what they're told. They're bullied slaves bullied slaves, victims, and they need, they need deprogramming.